The story begins with a very fierce soccer match. But suddenly in the middle of the match there was a soccer player named Yoon Hongdae he actually tried to compete with his own team captain. Hongdae ran after his captain and a fight for the ball ensued. This action made the audience confused and surprised. It turned out that an hour before the match started, Hongdae and his teammates held a press conference. At the press conference, the reporters, instead of asking about soccer, a reporter asked Han Da personal issues. The reporter asked about the news of his mother who was currently wanted person by the police. Hong Dae became upset, so when he played soccer, he was very emotional. Of course, Hong Dae's behavior on the field disappointed his team, and finally they lost. As a result of this incident, the coach was very upset with Hong Dae. When they were about to go home, the reporters came to them again. The reporter asked about the news of Hong Dae's mother. Be annoyed. Hong Da immediately strikes the reporter's eyes with his hand. Suddenly, the incident immediately went viral in the media. Even the scene of striking Hong Da's eyes was made into a game and a funny meme. As a result of this viral Hong Da case, soccer officials are worried. Although the victim is willing to reconcile, the football community will punish Hong Da. The coach finally had an idea so that Hong Da's name could be cleared again. The coach then asked Hong Da to volunteer. He was asked to train homeless people to become good footballers. On the other hand, this training activity will be recorded and made into a documentary film about Hong Dae. They hope that this method can win public sympathy and clear Hong Dae's good name because in the next two months there will be a world-class homeless soccer match called the Homeless World Cup. Hong Dae initially rejected the coach's idea. That's because Hong Dae actually intends to retire from the world of soccer. So he doesn't need his name to be cleared. The coach then reminded Hong Dae about the need for money for his mother. Although reluctant, Hong Dae agreed to it. The coach also has an idea that Hong Dae's name will be changed to Horak, which means happily ever after. Okay, now we call Hong Dae as Horak. The next day, a documentary film producer named Lee So Min came to see Horak to help clear his name. So Min is famous for making documentaries that are able to touch the hearts of the audience. At that time, So Min deliberately showed footage of homeless people playing soccer. In the video, the homeless seem to have no skill at all in playing soccer. Instead of playing soccer, they looked as if they were practicing martial arts. Their chaotic appearance made Horak feel astonished. Especially now that Horak had to train the homeless people to participate in the Homeless World Cup competition in Hungary. There was a global soccer tournament specifically for the homeless. And this year was also the first year South Korea participated in the tournament. In the morning, Horak was seen coming to the field. It turned out that at that time it was filming his documentary. But because Horak's acting was still too stiff and insincere, So Min finally gave the order to reshoot hoping to create a more sincere impression of the first meeting, so that the resulting movie can touch the hearts of the audience. Horak was annoyed and didn't want to repeat the shot. He felt that the documentary should show the acting as it is. So Min, who was upset, then invited Horak to talk on the sidelines. So Min showed his anger that Horak wouldn't follow her direction. Moreover, the competition was getting closer, and they had to produce a video that would touch the hearts of the audience. So Min really asked for Horak's cooperation in this because it was all for Horak's good too. After that, filming resumed and Horak introduced himself confidently and seriously. Their Horak tried to motivate the homeless. And soon the player selection was done. But actually, this selection is just a formality. It seems that So Min deliberately chooses soccer players who have dark stories in their lives. By telling the story of the homeless, So Min hoped to produce a touching documentary. Meanwhile, the homeless were asked to learn to kick the ball into the goal. But since the homeless were amateurs at playing soccer, Horak was left speechless at their ridiculous actions. Of the many people who participated, there was only one old man named Kim Hwandong who was able to score a goal. But unfortunately, he was already old, very old. In the evening, Horak secretly met with his mother who was a police fugitive. During the meeting, his mother asked Horak for money. Because Horak's mother had deceived many people, so she became a police target. Horak said that he had no money. Although he didn't like his mother's attitude of always looking for trouble, Horak still cared about her. After that, the mother shamelessly introduced her new boyfriend to Horak. Seeing his mother's behavior, Horak could only shake his head and speechless again. The next day, So Min received news that one of the players named Biem Su decided to leave the team. So Min and Horak's task now is to persuade Boom Su want return to the team. The story also flashbacks to Boom Su's life story. Momsu used to be a diligent worker because he had a dream of having a small house worth living in. But one day, he had a work accident. And as a result of the accident, now all his money is spent on medical expenses at the hospital. Because of this, Momsu eventually fell into poverty and became homeless. Having no place to live, he ended up sleeping on the streets. When sleeping on the streets, Momsu was often beaten by thugs there. 
After that, he had no spirit of life anymore. Until one day, a woman came to him and the woman was named Jinju. She came to clean Bom Su's wounds. Although the woman was mentally retarded, the love given by Bom Su was very sincere. Because he was willing to help her, Bom Su ended up selling newspapers for Jinju's mental be healed and recovery. Until now, Bom Su still sells newspapers. Soon, Ho Rak and So Min came and approached Bom Su. Ho Rak tries to help Bom Su in selling newspapers. But Bom Su refused because he thought that Ho Rak was just bothering him. Although Bom Su was rude, he actually had a very kind heart. After finishing selling newspapers, Bom Su took Ho Rak to eat egg bread. This was Jinju's favorite dish. Bom Su told Ho Rak that Jinju never spoke at all, but she would laugh and talk when she ate egg bread. After that, Ho Rak and So Min have an idea and want to interview Jinju. But Bom Su says that it will be a waste, because Jinju won't talk. But Ho Rak tries to bribe Jinju with egg bread and that's how Jinju talks at length. Bom Su also tells Jinju that she loves soccer, but in fact she's just in the mode of seeing Ho Rak's handsome face. After learning the facts about Jinju's love for soccer, Bom Su is determined to become a soccer player. Therefore, Bom Su decided to rejoin the team. During practice, Ho Rak's teammates asked how he managed to persuade Bom Su to return to the team. With a big smile, Ho Rak replied that he only bribed using egg bread. Seeing the team's progress, So Min showed his appreciation to Ho Rak. They stare at each other and show off their middle fingers with a smile. During practice, an overzealous Bom Su accidentally injured Huan Dong. Now the old man must receive treatment at the hospital. Huan Dong was actually the only player who could score goals. Huan Dong begged Ho Rak to give him a chance to compete again. He promised that within one month he would be cured, but Ho Rak decided not to involve Huan Dong for the sake of his health. Then Huan Dong told him about his past. He lived the life of a CEO in a very big company, but being swayed by worldly pleasures, he later fell into sex and alcohol addiction. This caused him to neglect his responsibilities as a father. Moreover, he has also forgotten his children and wife. In addition, Huan Dong was involved in a criminal case and had to stay in prison for a long time. After his release, he felt ashamed to return home. This is why he is now living as a homeless person and doesn't know where to take his life. Therefore, Huan Dong is eager to get back to playing soccer so that his child and wife can be proud of him. He hopes that his family will know that he has changed and become a better person. Hearing Huan Dong's story, Ho Rak's heart melted. Ho Rak was finally willing to consider his desire to join the team again. The next day, Ho Rak and So Min were at a loss for additional players as the injured Huan Dong couldn't play anymore. So Min's assistant then suggested that there was a man named Kim In Sun who could be included in this match. In Sun is a young man who has experienced heartbreak. A story flashes back to In Sun's sad past. Little In Sun was grew up in an orphanage. At the orphanage, In Sun was often bullied by his friends, but then he met a beautiful girl named Maya. Maya was willing to be friends with In Sun. Even into their teens, they still remained as friends. And finally, when they grew up, they loved each other. But unfortunately, at that time, there was a natural disaster that made Maya disappear and unfounded until now. In Sun only focuses on distributing missing person posters while selling newspapers. In the present, Ho Rak comes to In Sun and invites him to join the soccer team. Ho Rak also helps In Sun to sell newspapers, but In Sun says that Ho Rak is just annoying, just like Bom Su once said. Ho Rak keeps persuading In Sun to join the soccer team. He explains that So Min will record all their activities and broadcast them. This way, Ho Rak thinks Maya might see In Sun on television and contact him again. Hearing this, In Sun came to his senses and agreed to join. A new problem arose when Ho Rak found out that In Sun could only score a goal if the ball was stay ground and not moving. Because actually, In Sun couldn't score at all if the ball was moving. Ho Rak tried hard to teach In Sun how to score with a moving ball. Practice was done regularly. But So Min asked Ho Rak to be more strict to make their documentary more memorable. With high spirits, Ho Rak continued to apply strict discipline to the players, even though they were very tired. As a result, the players even challenged Ho Rak, which didn't seem like a fair because it had to be one against five players. They bet whoever wins will get 20,000 won. Of course, Ho Rak immediately agreed. A mini match one versus five comparison was made. Ho Rak won very easily. He even did some celebrations to celebrate his victory. After that, Ho Rak had an idea, where they will have a friendly match against middle school kids. At first they lost, but after being motivated by Ho Rak, their spirit finally came out. With that new spirit, they got up and finally won. They continued to practice seriously, although progress was slow, but they did not give up. But suddenly, they faced a new problem. 
Their sponsors withdrew their support. Now they have to find new funds to keep competing. The situation becomes even more complicated when Horak's mother is in jail. This incident certainly made Horak even more frustrated. Finally, Horak decided to cut ties with his mother and no longer cared about her. The scene changes while walking in the park, Horak accidentally sees Jinju who is about to be harassed by several people. He spontaneously rushes to her aid and manages to win the fight. Unfortunately, the case went viral and Horak was accused of being the aggressor, because Jinju was mentally retarded. Moreover, Jinju did not give any statement to the investigators honestly, so Horak was labeled as the suspect of the riot. Because of his unrelenting case, the soccer officials finally gave up and were unable to clear Horak's good name. Because of this, Horak's name is now revoked and he is now called Hongdai again. Knowing that Hongdai was in trouble again, the homeless soccer players continue to push investigators to look into the case further. They strongly believe that Hongdai is innocent. However, the investigators remained firm in their stance and made Hongdai the prime suspect. On the other hand, to help Hongdai's Soman approaches Jinju secretly. She wants to ask for an explanation of what really happened. Jinju finally agreed to talk and explain the chronology of events to investigators. In fact, she also explained that someone deliberately recorded the incident from the top of the building. The information prompted investigators to find out who the mysterious figure who recorded the incident was. After the evidence was published, Hongdae's name was immediately clarified by the media, and he was immediately considered a hero, thanks to his brave action to help Jinju. After this clarification went viral in the media, sponsors started coming back to support him and the team. But just when things were starting to get better, the soccer officials saw more potential in Hongda. They asked Hongda to stop being a homeless coach. They also want Hongda to join another program that they believe would give Hongda more success. The very tempting offer made Hongda indecisive. On the next day, they continued training. After practice was over, Hongda apologized and announced his resignation as coach. This decision left the players feeling confused and disappointed, especially since they had just started to build a good partnership and chemistry. A disappointed So Min then invited Hong Dae to have a one-on-one -on -one talk. So Min said that Hong Dae's life was miserable as he seemed unable to manage his own life. Hong Dae, who doesn't accept it, replies to So Min. He says that they're both in a sad situation right now. That is, both of them are using this moment for their own personal interests. In the evening, Hong Dae eats with her mother who just got out of prison. Hong Dae's mom states that she's going to live with her boyfriend on Jeju Island and they'll start a new life. After that, they watch a soccer rematch with Hong Dae as the player. His mom is very proud when she sees him score a goal. Not long after, his mother apologized to Hong Dae because she couldn't be a good mother to her son. Long story short, now the homeless soccer players are preparing to fly to Hungary. The players were very disappointed because on the day of the match, Hong Dae could not accompany them. But suddenly, Hong Dae dressed up and walked side by side with them. The coach finally joined the South Korean homeless soccer players to the world match. It turned out that Hong Dae chose to remain a coach for the homeless instead of joining the program offered by the football officials. This decision stirred up passion between them and this made the team more solid and energized. When the match started, the spirit of the players was palpable and on fire. But in middle of the event, South Korean team members felt a little intimidated watching other countries play. Despite this, they were still in high spirits to compete. Now it was their turn to start a match. But the greatness of the players from other countries made them lose the match. Seeing this, Hong Dae acknowledged the other team's prowess and admitted that he didn't have a plan for their team. This, of course, caused So Min to become upset. She thought the coach should have a better strategy for his players. In the first match, the South Korean team did not score a goal with a final score of 12-0. Plus, in the evening party in Hungary, Bomsu got injured. This was, of course, very bad news as it would affect their roster. So Min, who was worried, finally asked the committee for a solution. Fortunately, the committee suggested recruiting two substitutes from other teams. Here So Min then managed to recruit two players for the South Korean team. In the second match, two people from Brazil were included and South Korea won with a score of 5-1. Unfortunately, all the goals scored were the efforts of Brazilian players. Despite winning, South Korea was still considered a failure because their victory was with the help of Brazilians. Of course, South Korean players feel disappointed with this result. And for the third match, South Korea will fight Germany. Moreover, at that time, Germany was the strongest candidate. Hearing that, of course, the spear of the South Korean players immediately shrank. Hong Dae said that help from Brazilians was still needed if they wanted to win. Hong Dae then questioned the players' intentions whether they wanted to win or make history. He challenged them to consider what it means to win if the goals are scored by others, not from his own team. Everything depended on their individual choices. Hearing that, So Min could only remain silent. 
and for the first time Hong Dae spoke very sincerely about So Min's scenario. The players finally realized that they were now determined to do their best without the help of Brazil player. Their spirits rose and the match against Germany began. It was a tough match for the South Korean team. They kept getting knocked down but tried to get up again. Despite losing constantly, their spirit never faded. Seeing the spirit of the South Korean players, the supporters started coming to support them. Not only supporters from South Korea, but supporters from other countries are also united in supporting them. Now the euphoria of the match is increasingly felt. Not only the supporters, but also the commentators showed their support. And suddenly a woman who looked like Maya gave her headband to In Sun. Of course this made In Sun very happy and re-energized. Meanwhile, Huan Dong turned out to take the field, even though he was still injured and unable to run like before. But he was still capable of being a goalkeeper. Huan Dong was even able to nimbly catch the ball that was hurtling towards the goal. From here on, the South Korean team wasn't looking for a win. They just wanted to score one goal to make history. Support continued to flow until the last minute. Finally, South Korea scored one goal in the last minute, which of course brought cheers of joy for their success. For the first time in history, the players and supporters felt very happy despite the defeat. The goal they scored was a historic moment in their lives despite losing the match. South Korea was recognized as the best newcomer. And now it was time to release the documentary. How surprised they were when the documentary went viral and got very good ratings. So Min felt very happy at that time. Meanwhile, In Sun continues his life by selling newspapers and continues to search for Maya. Meanwhile, Huan Dong, after not returning home for a long time, finally found the courage to go back home. How surprised he was to see his daughter had grown into a mother and had a child happily. Finally, Huan Dong held his grandson. While Bom Su and Jin Ju continue to have a good relationship, Jin Ju is willing to share her favorite egg bread with Bom Su. And so it was Hong Dae's fate to return to soccer and play with on fire. His mother and other homeless people come to support him. The end of the movie shows that Hong Dae is now the star of the soccer field, and the movie ends.